Okay. That's that. Sad to say, sad to say, we're gonna have to do the video from the garage. So, here we go. Yo, what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. Cold day out here in dirty Jersey, low 40 degrees. I was originally gonna do this video on the Iron 883, but for some reason, since this bike has not gotten love in the past few months or so, like I literally haven't been on her in the past month or two, uh, she won't start, so yeah. There's two trickle chargers here, and one's on my Road Glide Special, and the other one's on my... <clears throat> There's two trickle chargers here, and one's on my Road Glide Special, and the other one's on my 2020 Lowrider S. Um, so yeah, I definitely need a trickle charger for the iron now. Hopefully that's it, and it's not any other issue, or I might just have to buy a brand new battery. But anyways, uh, today's discussion, I want to talk about why this bike is so, so famous and so popular around the world not just in the u.s so it kind of opened up my mind and yes this whole time that we spoke about tariffs and taxes on why harley davidson's are so expensive overseas um we definitely get that message uh that feedback all the time from you know a lot of the european countries um india i get a lot of feedback from india and also japan um and obviously these bikes are made here in the us of a then they're shipped out to these other countries around the world and then you know then they get they got to pay tariffs and taxes and taxes on top of taxes and these bikes end up being a lot more money out of the us than what you would think Things really opened up my mind when I was out in Dubai back in uh, September for my wife's birthday. And I visited the Harley Davidson dealership over there, which I went back to do a video the next day and then they were closed. So I was super pissed about that because I wanted to show you guys the dealership and show you everything and the cool bikes that they had here. I was able to walk around the whole dealership and look at all the bikes. Um, they did have some nice stuff. Probably the nicest bike they had there was uh, 2021. Uh, white Street Glide CVO. Uh, wow, what, what a booty. That was probably the nicest bike they had there. They had two Road Glides, two more Street Glides, um, a Low Rider S, uh, I think a Fat Bob, and um, I think that was it. And then it was just a bunch of sports everywhere. So I started looking at these prices. I'm like, all right, well, how much does this CVO cost here? And I looked at the price, and the, the price was astronomical, man. And you know, you're this is in Dubai. Like, people piss gold in the morning just for the hell of it so i mean yeah most of the people who live there could afford it and whatever you know the average person no uh when it came down to the iron 83 um this was the price for it it crazy man just crazy um i'm also gonna post up some prices here from around the world as well so you'll have some european countries maybe some asian countries here as well everything will be right there on top so you guys can see um and, and it's just crazy so i sat down and i thought to myself i'm like well you know what like this bike is not just so famous around the world and so popular just because of its looks because number one it's popular because of its looks his uh its heritage and everything but most of all like here in the usa people look at iron 83 as a starter bike is one of the cheapest bikes you can get definitely gets you in the harley davidson family and from there you start stepping up to uh soft tails and baggers and everything else you want after that so that is the main reason why around the world you see these bikes and they're so popular and have such a huge following. It's just because the normal average person could only afford that. Now, a lot of my viewers, most of my viewers are from here from the States, Canada, uh, UK, um, Japan, and India, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. I have a lot of people, those are like top countries. Now, let me know around the world where you're watching from right now. How much is an Iron 883 in your country? So name the country where you're from and the price point of what it is. Or if you don't have an Iron 883 and you have another bike, let me know how much you paid for your bike. Also, don't forget, put the country where you're watching from. She's a, she's a doozy for sure, man. I'm really mad I wasn't able to get out there today. Like I was really, uh, I'm really upset, man. I really wanted to go out there and just go for a nice little ride on the sporty end enjoy and just hear those Vance and Hines short shots. I'm definitely gonna put this thing on a trigger charger overnight, see if it turns on tomorrow morning and then we'll do a follow-up video with that. Um, that's gonna be it. I just wanted to have this quick little discussion. Let me know what you guys think about the Sportster. Also, the Sportster is no longer being sold overseas anymore as well either. So, hence, 
this bike will become more and more popular overseas. Uh, we might see the Sportster here in the US for another year. If that, I think 22 might be the last year for the Sportster. I mean, they already kind of cut off a bunch of them, so we're only down to the 883 and the 48 now. Um, so drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. That's gonna be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.